Hi, I'm Daniel Berman. I'm Jan Kubala. You're watching Fly TV, and today we're doing this. Oh, just magic. That sail, it's pure love. So, today we're in Shoneok uh, by the Kaitam River, one of the best uh, grayling waters in the world. Yeah, that's true. Um, what are we gonna do today, Jan? Yeah, we will try to get some graylings on the dry fly. Uh, yeah. We already saw some insects in the air and on the water surface. Yeah. So it looks promising. Yeah. Um, and we'll try to get them. Yeah, we already spotted a few fish a little bit. Yeah. We saw uh, some rising down here. Yeah, we saw some fish. Uh, yeah, so we're hoping for a awesome day and hopefully yeah. some really nice grayling yeah. on the dry. Let's do it. Yeah, let's go. Let's down. go. Okay, it is. It's like it's fish everywhere there. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. It is. Oh there. Nice. Yeah. Nice fish. It's like Oh, this was a nice one. Yeah, I think it's like 20 fish within an area of <laughs> yeah. 20 square meters at least. It's and that's crazy. the one we can see. Oh, that was a nice one. Though. Yeah, and oh, the one coming up yeah. there. Yeah. It's just too Side easy. fishing, <laughs> railing in yeah. super shallow water. It doesn't it's get better. super cool. It doesn't get better than this. No. <laughs> and you saw some uh, mayflies as well? Yeah, cool. like some olive mayflies. Yeah, size. 14, 16? Yeah, 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 something like that. Yeah. Like 14, maybe even like a 12. Oh, okay. It was quite big. Yeah. So, and it's cool, like in the morning and they're already rising. Yeah. <laughs> Super nice. You see, we, we, we have fish like three meters in front of us. It's crazy. In 20 centimeters of water. Yeah. A lot there of them. Are... They're like six, seven fish? Yeah, at least. The one standing there on the white rock. Yeah. <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah. I think that one that rises in the mm. in the current there is quite a big yeah. one. Yeah. That's a nice male. So there are some fish rising just in front of the rocks there in the ripples. Yeah. And there. Yeah. And there. And everywhere. And there, and there, and there. So I'll just go down and take yeah. a couple of cameras. You go down there and I'll go right out here. Yeah. yeah. And we'll, That's yeah. Good. We'll see if we can manage a double hookup. <laughs> okay, first cast. <laughs> what the? <laughs> I put on the Mayfly Emerger. Yeah. It's not a biggie, but... Whoa! It might be... It's fighting hard. I think this might actually be a trout. Yeah, I'm not like sure, it. but... It looks like it. Yeah. It fights like it. It is. It's a sm small trout. Cool! <laughs> ah, super hungry. Come on, buddy. What the hell? Grayling capital of the world and the first fish I hook is a trout. <laughs> Pretty cool. 
They fight really well. Ah, oh, well done. <laughs> Just have a look at you. Look at that beauty with the red dots and everything. I just took the pretty nice grayling around 40. Super nice fish. Oh. He's mad. <laughs> okay, let's get this little baby back. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Awesome, 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 awesome. Ah, oh, lovely Jan. It's a nice grayling. Yeah, beautiful fish. There you go. So I just hooked a nice grayling right after a brown trout. Yeah, it's a pretty good start. Yeah, look at that beauty. What a fish! Ah, <laughs> oh, lovely. Nice. <laughs> Let's get him back. Yeah. Hey there. Thank you. And we're on. <laughs> awesome. Great start. So oh, there's still plenty of fish rising. Yeah. Uh, we should have a few more casts. Yeah, we're gonna have a great day. I am certain of it. Yeah. Crazy. Beautiful. Great stuff, Jan. Ah, oh, so nice to be back. I can feel my shoulders starting to fall into place. <laughs> it's been a couple of years since we were uh, the last time and did the brown trout episode together. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Both aged a bit since then. <laughs> Six Both. years ago. Six years ago. Yeah. It's crazy. But uh, also, as with all people in the Swedish sport fishing uh, business who yeah. have worked here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like yeah. everybody else. Yeah. Yeah, I did a season. It was great fun, but I have to say it. I prefer being here as a guest. Uh, <laughs> flown out with a helicopter, uh, treated with nice dinners every, every night and nice sauna in the evening. And, yeah, boat taxis and guiding, it's, yeah, super good, mm. super good. But come on, we're here for the fishing. Yeah, yeah, let's get on with it, <laughs> the rising. Yeah. Just gonna have a sip. You lead the way. You lead the way, <laughs> I'm not the, the guide now. <laughs> no, but right out here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, let's There's go. There's been fish rising there all the time. Cool. Oh. Well, we've seen uh, there's some, the main channel of the river goes a bit a, a bit further out, and we see some really nice fish uh, rising out there. Uh, so we're gonna go out there and, and see if we can meet them in person. Whoa! It's a nice fish. <laughs> Oh, insane. Oh, Hi. <laughs> now we realized he's hooked. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that beauty. That's another like 45 plus grayling. It's just insane. <laughs> and when I was just fiddling around with my line, <laughs> it was just rope, just missed a fish and then blop. You can get second chances here in Shoneok. <laughs>
Double hookup. Double trouble. <laughs> In paradise. Whoa, 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 whoa. Looks like it. Ah. Ooh, it's not super big, but it was crazy strong. Yeah. A beautiful sail. Uh, slightly different size, but still. This is probably the kid. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Whoa. Ah. Oh. That was amazing. <laughs> There's you have contact in every cast. Yeah, it's, it's unbelievable. Ridiculous. And then you miss one yeah. and then you let let the fly Actually, just Actually this one drift. was on a sunken fly like drifting the way oh, down and So you're swinging flies <laughs> now. Swinging for grailing. Swinging flies for grailing, yeah. Cool. So good to have you here. Thank Welcome. you. Welcome. Thank you. I mean, finally, we found a reason for you to, to come here. <laughs> it's uh, about time. We fished for a few hours now, and we caught many fish on the dry fly. Mm. Um, that's amazing. There were really nice hatches of insects, mm. like bibios, mayflies, caddies. Mm. I think that's one of the reasons why there's so much fish as you, you can yeah. testify for, it's a lot yeah. of fish in this river. Yeah, but for, for a night that it's gonna be like now, it's quite a warm day and mm. towards the evening, the mm. hatches will become crazy, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So much insect life. Yeah. Like when we drive through going home to for dinner, you have to have like a face mask yeah. because there's so much <laughs> insects in the streams. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. On, on our waters, uh, the graylings are more like golden, yellow. Um, yeah, they look different. I've yeah. seen that from, from your pictures yeah, as well. Yeah, and, and here the graylings are more... Often they are dark mm. um, and they have really huge fins. Mm. And actually the mouth is also different. Uh, these fish here, they have a pretty big mouth compared to our grayling. I kind of... I encourage you to try in the afternoon, like to... Uh, I know you're good at reading streams and so, and it's very mm. obvious to just go out to the like a deep hole or yeah. like the main current. <laughs> yeah. But try to go to these odd places. You imagine like it might be like if you see some blank water just near the shore that mm. you see that like might be deep. Mm. Just try to like, they can be fish in the most weird places. Yeah. Here. To just make the challenge to catch just that one specific yeah. fish in these yeah. odd places. That's yeah. something I really enjoy. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like uh, the fish are rising. So I would love to go <laughs> fishing now. <laughs> yeah. Let's yeah. go. So I'm using a small CDC mayfly. It's, it's like more of an olive color and it works a treat here. It's nearly on every cast. It's on every cast there's like a fish taking the fly. So this is probably the fly I will use most of the time. Let's see. Oh no! No, no, no! That was a nice fish. Yeah. This should be a good fish. Yeah, that's a good fish. Nice. <laughs> and the result is this. <laughs> what a beauty. Stunning fish.
fished uh, for a couple of hours now. Um, we caught some really nice fish, uh, even a few big ones. Um, the amount was actually crazy. <laughs> uh, now I would like to talk a little about, about uh, the gear I use. Um, I'm using a 9.3 foot 5 weight rod. Um, I also tried, you can fish when the wind is not so bad like now. Uh, you can also use like a uh, four weight, that's completely fine. But for now, uh, I'm using the five weight and the pretty long leader. I like to use long leaders. This one is actually 13 foot, 13, 14 foot long. It's tapered, then there's a small tippet ring and you can add some more tippet to the front so you can change the diameter in the front. So that's really nice if you want to go maybe a little bit heavier or also lighter and for the flies it's really necessary um, to adapt to the insects that are on the water we had like crazy hatches of bibios so that's like if you take a black fly with some red stuff in it uh, that usually works the more it matches the insects on the water, the more fish you will get. But usually it's uh, just enough to match the size, especially the size and maybe a little bit the color, but that's, that's the most important thing. And when it comes to presentation, when we're um, presenting the flies, uh, it is actually really helpful uh, to do some reach casts. So you're actually uh, casting um, and then you shift the rod tip to the left or to the right so the fly will go down in a smooth way there will be no drag in the fly um, and that's what their graylings really like uh, it's a little bit different to the trout fishing because the trout can be aggressive and even if you drag a fly they will uh, go on it they will splash on it and take it uh, but for the graylings it's really important to match the uh, speed of the water actually so the more natural it floats down the river uh, the more takes you will get took off the bibio imitation I'm gonna try try like a bigger caddis pattern uh, that floats high uh, because I want to reach out in the heavier current, so I need sort of a br slightly brighter, bigger fly to, to be able to see it. I'll put on a caddis imitation of some sort. Just a quite light CDC caddis with some sparkle in it. That I should be able to see at least on a long distance. We'll try. I haven't seen that many caddis, but they're starting to fly about. I'm just gonna take a small drop of this CDC oil and distribute it evenly. And it will float like a cork. Okay, first cast with the new fly. See if they like it. Oh, that's perfect. Nope. Uh, go back to a Bibio imitation and fish a little bit closer. We'll try something like this with an extended foam body and a golden pheasant as tails and some red in it, of course, as their red legs are red. Okay, I spotted some nice fish out there too. Yep. Oh, just magic. That sail in this light, in these surroundings, it's pure love. It's just beautiful. It's good to know your bugs. And never underestimate the importance of Bibio imitations when you're far up north. 
they don't have that much to choose from. Uh, so they take what's offered. And apparently there's a lot of bibios now. Oh, that's a lovely fish. Ah, come on. Oh, look at that fatty. Let's go back. <laughs> yeah, you see, sometimes changing flies is all you need. It can be quite important if you want to catch fish. And it's fun to do that. Well, we caught a lot of fish upstream, uh, so we thought we would go a bit further down and check out the other places. And we found a really neat, uh, really neat uh, deep hole here, mm. where uh, quite a lot of big, big fish just cruising around, back and forward, and uh, so occasionally taking a fly. Yeah. It's really cool just to look at them. They are quite big actually too. Yeah. But it's just nice to sit down and have a break uh, watching the landscape. Yeah. And the landscape is phenomenal here. Yeah. And it's really nice to just relax and see them sipping dry. Yeah. That's just amazing. We'll just take a break for a minute and then we'll see if, oh. if we'll try to catch them. <laughs> Temptation might get too strong. Yeah. Actually, we saw quite, quite many mayflies and sedges in the morning. Yeah. And later on, the bibios were starting to hatch. That was yeah. really interesting. Yeah. There was a lot of bibios drifting. Yeah. Uh, and then they probably only fed on that, more or less. Yeah. But now I'm True. starting to suspect that it's something different. Yeah. That it might be. But you can see like some, some flies cruising yeah. around just on the top of the water. Yeah, and that's a good thing with just sitting down and look. Yeah. Um, then you get a picture of what's going on as well. Yeah. Instead of just cast and cast and cast. Just look at the mountains over there with yeah, the snow the and everything. Yeah, the scenery is just incredible. Let's try this one. It's just right there. But your CDC fly there is not far off on a sedge. Oh. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> uh, we'll see. I can edit for you. Great. Uh, you just sit there and <laughs> relax. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, it's a nice fish. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Awesomeness in a box. Beauty. Well, that's a nice fish after the break. It wasn't that hard. Now we can continue. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for netting. No problem. It's getting late. It's over eight and the wind has totally died. We thought we would try try to fish the like the oil slick calm surface see if some of the big guys from the lake up ahead have moved down
and in the net. So we had some really great fishing throughout the whole day. And now in the evening the fish started to rise pretty actively. Um, and I got a nice fish on the dry fly to end the day. This is our last fish for today. Beautiful grayling on the dry fly on the caddis. Just amazing. Absolutely beautiful fish. Oh, nice fin. Beautiful fish. I'm gonna put him back now. Beautiful day, it was a sunny day and now we have that beautiful sunset in the background there. And it's just magic to fish here and the fish are rising. The atmosphere is something else. Just beautiful. What a way to end the day. Great stuff. Today we're doing this. Yeah, that's a good run. <laughs> He's breaking it. Oh my god. <laughs>